Two questions. Number one, filters. Would they filter out these PFAS or no? Some of them will, so you have to get the right type of filter. It has to be NSF certified. There's 71 products that are out there that will effectively remove PFAS. And the price of these filtration systems have gone down significantly. I recommend if you live in a home, getting a whole home system um, that connects to your main water line. But let's say you live in an apartment. I would definitely put it under the sink in the kitchen. That way your cooking water, your drinking water would be you know, filtering out that PFAS chemicals. It's something you can do right away. And is there an affordable, reliable way to test your water that has been filtered to ensure that you are removing the contaminants that you are trying to remove? Uh, again, um, I don't know about affordable because the price for testing uh, varies. And that is why I always tell people to go back to your city and find out when's the last time they tested for PFAS, if they have. Those states that don't have dots doesn't mean that their water's clean. It might mean that they weren't tested. And it may mean that, you know, they didn't test enough places. They only tested 761 places around the United States. That's really nothing in comparison to the amount of water sources that are across the nation. I also think it highlights the conundrum of modern society, which is a lot of people out there are afraid of their drinking water, so what do they do? They get plastic bottles, and then there's more plastic in the environment, and, and, and it's a scary time because of that, because our efforts to maybe avoid our local drinking water, we're using plastic bottles, which then end up in landfills, there's more plastic, uh, there's more of these forever chemicals. I think nothing else, if nothing else, what I've learned from you, Dr. Noreen, is that we should call up our local water supplier and ask them, when's the last time you got tested for these PFAS? Do you even know what that means? And if they don't, right. buy a really nice filter. Well, we're so happy that you could join us to explain this. We're gonna have a link on our website to some filtration system options out there because I think it's something that we don't think a lot about. Yeah. And ultimately you're gonna save money. You're gonna save money as compared to constantly buying bottled water. Um, but if you have to, I think maybe the kitchen idea uh, would be the most affordable option. You look into it and let us know. I will let you know. <laughs>